I'm so glad you could join me today. I'm going to introduce you to Kevin, our roly-poly flying pony, and teach you how to draw him. The very first book in the series is called The Legend of Kevin. And just in case you haven't read it, I'm going to just give you a little preview of the beginning. Here we go. Here you can see the outermost west where Kevin lives. There's his nest in the tree. This is Kevin. Kevin is a flying pony. You may have noticed that already, in which case you are very observant. Well done. Award yourself one gold star. Ding. Some people think Kevin is a slightly odd shape for a flying pony. They say that his wings are a bit too small. They also say that his tummy is a bit too big. Tra la la, I am so beautiful and magic. Kevin disagrees. He thinks he is just right. Kevin lives in the wild wet hills of the outermost west where he has built a large untidy nest for himself in the branches of an oak tree. His favorite things to eat are one, grass, two, apples, and three, biscuits. Only not in that order. Grass is quite easy to come by because it grows all over the wild wet hills of the outermost west. Apples grow on the trees in the orchards and Kevin often flies down to eat them. You can imagine how delighted the farmers are when they see him coming. Biscuits are a bit harder to get hold of, but sometimes Kevin makes friends with a hiker, and if he's lucky, they share their biscuits with him. So if you ever visit the wild wet hills of the outermost west, be sure to take plenty of biscuits. Kevin's favorite are one, pink wafers, two, bourbons, and three, custard creams only not in that order. So now we're going to draw Kevin and I want you to get out a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen and draw along with me. You might, if you can't keep up, just pause the video and then you can keep pausing, drawing, pausing, drawing, and we can do this together. Here we go. Okay, so you can draw dark lines and light lines, you know, the really sketchy light ones. So I'm gonna do it with a pencil first to show a very light line that goes straight across like that. And your second very, very light line will go like a big laughing mouth, like that. And then we're going to go in the dark lines. You can do it with a pencil or I'm doing it with a pen. So you're going to start about here and go up like that. There we go. And then make a little hook like that. And another, this is the ears. And then a very short little line there. Another hook, another ear, and then a straight line for the top of his face. Then a little curve for his nose. And then make that line go a little bit further. Like that. And then this is going to come right down to about here. Okay, let's make his eyes. So two little circles. I tend to show them on the same side and little nostrils, and his little mouth. There we go. And we can give him a mane too. We can go boom, 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 boom. And it's okay to make those noises. I like making noises when I draw. Maybe some little lines here to give him a bit of texture. And a line in his ear there. And let's see what else. Okay, now let's do the wings. So the wings, they go from his body up like that curve back and then a little hook on the end and then boom 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 and then you can make that go a little bit further back and down and the other wing it goes up from his back like that and then hook again and same again boom 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 bit further back and down. Now he doesn't really have a pointy bum so we're gonna go and kind of round that out around the edge of the bum there and go all the way down to about here. There we go and where that point is we can put his tail so you can put some like flower petal-y kind of leaves things I don't know or even just a big flowing tail if you want. Now for his legs. Some people say horses legs are hard to draw but they're not really. You just go like that. And then a second line there. Very small in relation to his body. 
and cap it off with a hoof. And another one right next to it. Two lines, cap it off with a hoof. And the back, we're going to have this go back like that. Two lines, cap it off with a hoof. And then trace that line on the belly all the way around. And another leg that can go stop at that line there. Two lines, cap it off with a hoof. And you might want to put some little kind of decoration lines in his wings like feathers. Just like that. And maybe in his tail as well. And sometimes I give him a bit of shadow around his belly just to make him look a bit rounder. Just some lines that give him, give him a bit more volume. And one thing you can do is you can have his wings flapping like that. Flap, flap. You could even write flap, flap, because that's quite funny. Flap, flap. And there's a really cool trick to make him look like he's up in the air. You go right underneath and make like a shadow on the ground. But you make sure you leave a little bit of space in between him and the ground so that you can, he definitely looks like he's up in the air. Now, Kevin is always thinking about one thing. He's always thinking about biscuits. So think, what's your favorite biscuit? And maybe draw it above his head. I'm gonna have him thinking about, I don't know, a jammy dodger maybe. There's his little jammy dodger. You can draw whatever biscuit you like. And once you've drawn your biscuit, give him a little thought bubble, because this is what he's thinking about. And two little dots, that, or three little dots, or whatever, that point to his head to show he's thinking. And then you might put some lines that show he's going really fast, flying along there. And of course, the last thing you do is sign your name. Give your artist's signature. I'm going to put Sarah McIntyre, but of course you put your name. And there you go. So that's how you draw Kevin, the roly-poly flying pony. Now, I would love to see your pictures. So if you get a chance, take a photo of it and you or a parent or guardian could put it on social media using the hashtag drawing with Sarah and that way I'll get to see it. Now, Philip and I have come up with a roly-poly flying pony song. So I'm gonna leave you with that. And it's, I don't know, maybe you can learn how to sing it too. Perhaps you could even come up with another verse. That would be amazing. Once a small pony felt terribly lonely up in his raggedy nest. It isn't much fun when you're the only one in the hills of the outermost west. He's the one, the one and only roly poly flying pony. He's the one, the one and only roly poly flying pony. So he blew away one blustery day and he flapped all the way to my flat. He thought he would risk it in exchange for. Thank you for watching Drawing with Sarah. You can find lots more fun drawing activities on my website, jabberworks.co.uk, and you can follow me on social media. See you next time.